This is the module on card-based shop floor control. In previous modules, we've seen that to optimize the system performance, we need to reduce flow time. And a major part of flow time is usually the waiting time. And we already know that to reduce waiting times, we should limit the whip in the system, the work in process. Now the question is, how do we do this? Because there are these different types of production systems. We've seen those before as well when we discussed the product process matrix. So now in this module, we'll take a look at the different methods to implement a whip limitation on the shop floor throughout these different production systems. The key element in these methods is to allocate cards to the items. And that's where the name comes from, card-based shop floor control. So for every part in the system, there will have to be a card attached to it. And then if we limit the number of cards available, then automatically we limit the whip in the system. That's the key idea. And we'll implement this in different ways that are suited or not, depending on the type of production system we're looking at. So that's what we're going to do in this module. And in fact, we will focus on four of the many versions and many methods that exist. The four most common used card-based shop floor control methods are Kanban, Conwhip, Polka, and Kobakabana.